Greetings loyal subscribers and honoured guests. Welcome to another episode of Picking Up Steam. Today I will be looking at Glorkian Warrior, which is another game by the same developers of Dino Run DX. Uh, they're, they're called uh, Pixel Jam. So there's a ton of unlockables in this game, so before I get into the main game itself, I'm just going to have a scroll through some of these things. You can see stuff like Melty World, which randomly causes the ground to appear slimy and cracker magnet which uh, attracts the main um, currency of the game into your character there's also stuff like um, tetra storm which causes uh, tetris pieces to randomly rain out of the sky which will will kill you if they hit you and then there's all this stuff that i haven't unlocked yet like um, the flamethrower and the glorkian homeworld for 22k so yeah, every time you play this game it changes slightly differently, but basically it's a very arcadey sort of Galaga or Galaxian style game where you control the Glorkian warrior, which is this pink guy with three eyes, and his uh, super backpack, which is the little yellow thing on his back, shoots automatically, and you basically move left and right with the analog stick. And you can jump as well, which uh, helps because there's enemies that come along the ground sometimes. So yeah, the random assortments of enemies fly in and um, for, call, um, form into formations, like you can see them doing here, uh, Galactian or Galaga style. And the idea is to just kill them and collect the um, space crackers, galactic crackers or whatever they're called, which is the main currency used to unlock things. Um, <clears throat> there's loads of different weapons that drop from the bigger enemies when you kill them, and uh, you don't die in one hit, as you can see there. You've got In the top right, you've got hearts, and you start with a couple, and... Um, once they're all gone, you are dead completely. Uh, and but you can also fill them up with hearts that sometimes drop from enemies, although very rarely. <coughs> and also the um, hamburger power up, which I've recently unlocked. Uh, as you can see there, I've got the fireball weapon at the moment. There's also stuff like basketballs, which gets upgraded into exploding basketballs. And there's tennis balls, which is a, again a recent unlock. These are space cats and space bunnies, as you can see. Oh, and I'm dead. So I'm just going to play a few games here. And um, this was actually pre recorded, the um, action that you're seeing here, because I tried to um, capture some footage live uh, with me speaking well, as I was playing with Fraps. But the whole game slowed down incredibly. <coughs> it was um, it wasn't going to work. So what I've done is um, this was captured with my Ava Media um, Game Center portable or whatever it is game game capture portable uh, through my Steam Link box on my TV. So that's actually worked out much better. It, it doesn't put any strain on the PC itself. Although, with the current setup, it does mean that I have to record the dialogue afterwards, which is a bit annoying, but uh, not too bad. I've just got a rapid shot there. So, in this uh, new game, you can see the levels are playing out slightly differently this time. <coughs> These uh, enemies will uh, fly at you and commit suicide. Um... Basically, I just wanted to play this until I managed, actually managed to get to one of the boss stages, which is like every five or so regular stages into the game. There's the tri laser. And that's powered up the tri laser. <clears throat> These purple guys can be quite annoying because they, they spit out quite a lot of fireball, fireballs. And now we're on a Governor Florp Bug. Florp Bugs are these little things. And, and that's the Florp Gun, which is not very good. Uh, it's, it's a bit pathetic as far as guns go. But uh, it uh, does get the job done in a pinch. And there I've got the Twisty Laser, which uh, 
It's very similar to the double laser, although slightly narrower, a bit more useful. There are those guys that walk along the ground that I was telling you about. So, and more fireballs, which we've already seen. And here's the Tetra Storm. Uh, I think it, I think this one can't, might kill me. I can't remember. Yep, I did did get killed. So there was a challenge on that particular round, which was uh, a bit weird because it asked me not to breathe for the entire round. So, of course, the game doesn't actually know whether you're doing that or not. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit uh, peculiar. There, there have been other ch challenges set by the game where you actually do um, complete things in the game to earn bonus points, such as killing a certain number of a particular enemy or um, jumping on three of those those ground-type enemies. Um, if I recall rightly, this next game was really pathetic. I didn't last long at all, but then the, the round afterwards was quite successful. So let's see, yeah, I, I got um, shot, yeah, got hit, hit there and then shot again very quickly. And this was all rather miserable. So just one more hit will finish me off. So that wasn't a great round at all, but uh, never mind. And now the um, the title screen has changed, and you can see the background graphics have randomly changed. These are the two characters that typically issue the challenges for you. They're these weirdo aliens. Yeah, so... At the end of the, each round and the start, you basically get a little cutscene like that, which uh, I've seen them repeat a few times, but there are quite a few. So it's quite a, a nice little touch. Um, this game is on iOS and Android as well for a couple of quid. Um, if you want this PC version, uh, it's currently part of a bundle, a Pixel Jam bundle, on... Uh, groupies.com uh, group double e s dot com and uh, there's five games in the bundle but the other cool thing is there's a ton of um, game soundtracks as well about 20 or so it's quite a large bundle of music really so if you're into um, pixel tunes which is the sort of genre that all this music is then um, well, it's well worth doing. I think it's only about three dollars minimum to get the entire lot. Groupies is another one of these bundle sites that I've discovered recently and they um, tend to mainly focus on games that actually haven't made it onto Steam yet, although in this particular bundle they are all Steam codes, but a lot of their bundles are for stuff that's on uh, Itch.io that's um, trying to get um, Steam green, green light. So basically, they're selling you the game, and uh, and they want to try and get you to vote for it on Steam green light to actually get get it sold properly. So I would recommend going over there and checking out the bundles that they've got because they're all pretty cheap. Uh, you can get some pretty experimental games. Some of them are very, very early in their development, and so you shouldn't expect all the sort of bells and whistles that uh, you get from the uh, more polished games. But um, in the case of this Pixel Jam bundle, then these are fully developed and finished games, so you can't really go wrong with this one. Uh, and they also do um, comic book bundles. So um, they did a huge one recently which had a, a whole ton of Army of Darkness comics and, and more besides. So they're a little bit like Humble Bundle but a lot more indie focused. So yeah, here is the actual boss. I did manage to def defeat him. I didn't think I was going to. Um, I, I usually haven't managed to get to a second boss in the time that I've been playing this game, but it's addictive. 
the, the constant um, unlocks and the, the way the game changes every time we play it will cause me to keep coming back. And here's another Tetra Storm. I think I'll get through this one. But uh, the video is nearly over now, guys. So I'm just going to say thank you again for watching this one. Uh, there'll be something else along very soon. Um, but in the meantime, take care. Try to figure it out alone